you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 8th friday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 5 verses 12 to 16 Once when he was in one of the cities there was a man covered with leprosy when he saw Jesus he bowed with his face to the ground and begged to him lord if you choose you can make me clean then Jesus stretched out his hand touched him and said i do choose be made clean immediately the leprosy left him and he ordered him to tell no one go he said and show yourself to the priests and as Moses commanded make an offering for your cleansing for a testimony to them but now more than ever the word about Jesus spread abroad many crowds would gather to hear him and to be cured of their diseases but he would withdraw to deserted places and pray the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ Dear friends leprosy was one of the most feared diseases of the ancient world it was known to be contagious which made the leper a very dangerous person as a result the leper was a social outcast feared and rejected by all the leper had always to warn people around of his or her presence and had to keep a clear distance away from others what was particularly tragic is that sometimes the person might not have been suffering from leprosy but at but from some other similar looking skin disease which was in fact not contagious at all in today's gospel we find a leper approaching jesus falling prostrate before him his request is full of faith and trust in the power of jesus Lord if you wish you can make me clean obviously he had heard stories of Jesus many healings many miracles some of these are recounted by Luke in this uh, part of his gospel Jesus responds immediately he reaches out touches the man and says i do will it be made clean he was healed immediately the touching is very significant no ordinary person would dare to touch a leper think of the inner healing that must have resulted from the touch that a moment of physical contact touch is something we all need and are of so often deprived of we too are in need of a healing including the healing touch the healing that comes from touch let's put our trust in jesus that he can also bring us healing second the healed leper is told to go to the priest and make the prescribed offering of the thanksgiving for his healing this is also one presumes a time for him to be officially declared as free of the disease he would now freely enter society the healing of someone like a leper went for beyond mere physical healing Yes. He may well ask, who are the lepers in our own day? Of course, there are still many parts of the world where leprosy has not been eradicated. But in every society, there are people who are treated as lepers. People that no one wants to mix with. People who are ostracized or marginalized from one reason or another. There are the victims of victim of uh, HIV. the people are afraid to have contact with there are the homeless people we walk past in the street every day and hardly notice there are the victims of addiction drugs legal and illegal alcoholics people who are excluded on the basis of race and religion the mentally and physically disabled we may also look at those who are effectively treated as lepers in our family our place a working spot or social gatherings there is no place in our society still less in our 
church for lepers of many kind any kind the world of jesus is a totally inclusive one amen may god bless us